I wasn't particularly sporty at school and I used to hate cross country running and everything that um, they put you through when you were younger. I got into sport by watching a lady called Jane Tomlinson uh, run the London Marathon and she, she was the same age as me, she had children like me but she had terminal breast cancer and I thought gosh if she can do it then uh, surely I can. So that afternoon I got a pair of trainers out and went for a, a run around the village and I managed about 10 minutes before I had to stop and walk <laughs> but kept it up and I thought this time next year I'm, I'm going to do the marathon and a year later I managed to finish a marathon and um, just fell in love with it ever since. And I, I remember running with Lisa at first and I, I, Lisa would be running and I, I'd be sort of struggling behind. You and used I, to have to tell me to I'd slow tell, down. I'd tell, tell you off wouldn't I? When we did our first marathon it took us such a long time but <laughs> we ran all the way very slowly. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we crossed the line hand in hand, didn't we? <laughs> five, five hours and ten minutes. <laughs> we did get overtaken by a caterpillar on the last mile. Though. Yeah. <laughs>a few more running races and things we, we started looking around for something a bit more challenging and I'd seen that Jane Tomlinson was doing triathlon and then again I thought gosh if she can do it then surely I could do it. And it was a bit of a struggle for Jim at that time because he wasn't very uh, good at swimming. We only trained in, in a gym which had a short pool like 12 metres or so and I would for the first few months or so I'd managed to do like a length. At the end of the, the length I'd be gasping for breath, hanging on to the side and, and uh, it took, took an awful long time to really become a proficient swimmer. We'd already got cycle computers and running wa watches, heart rate monitors. I was amazed that you couldn't actually get a swimming watch um, and, and realised that you know there was you know, there was something maybe that I, I could actually try and develop a, a product that would do this with my background in, in electronics. In, initially it was really something I thought I would do just for me. It was evenings and week, weekends I was playing around with, with ideas for how I might make it work. The first version that I made didn't look very impressive. It was a little board with some electronics um, and in order to test it in the pool I had it strapped to my arm with rubber bands in a, in a plastic bag. So um, it was a bit of a contraption to start off with, but did, did the job. The thing that makes Poolmate unique is that it's fully automatic. It's got a motion sensor built into the watch, so you don't have to do anything in the, in the pool apart from press the start button and then swim. And then it automatically counts your laps and strokes. And it's a swimming computer, so it works out your speed, distance, efficiency, um, all calories, the, calories all, all those things which you normally would expect from say a, a running watch or a cycling computer but it does it for the for the pool. We've got two versions, we've got the Poolmate and the Poolmate Pro. With the Poolmate Pro you can download all your data to a computer so with a single glance you can see all the data you'll ever need about your swimming and how you're improving over time. To download your data it's really simple, it comes with a little pod you plug into your USB port you just select upload on the watch, put the watch in the pod and it will transfer your data for you. It knows when you change lengths, how many strokes you do, how efficiently you're swimming and how many calories you burn. And the rest of the time it's just a normal watch. And we want to make it work with people of all levels. Everyone forgets how many laps they swam, whether they're just doing a few lengths in the pool or whether they're a competitive athlete. We thought we'd start slowly and launch in the UK, however within a week it was in six different languages all over the world and uh, inquiries just came flooding in. We'd sold out of our first batch before we'd even got them, it was uh, amazing. It is so nice when people email or phone and say the watch has made such a difference to their swimming. They've either lost weight or got a lot faster and it really seems to be um, helping people. Oh, it's, it's so satisfying actually designing some, something, initially for myself and then realising that it was useful to other people. 
and that other people have also found it you know, really essential to their tra training. We've had so much positive feedback from people. You can't describe how fantastic that is. One of the greatest moments for me was at our first exhibition. Um, we were demonstrating the product to new people and existing users were coming up and saying that's a great product, you, sh you should buy it. And uh, for me it's great to see them on the shelves in shops and uh, seeing the packaging there standing out and people asking about them. Mm. We both use our pool mates pretty well ev every day when we go swimming and I'd be lost without it in, in the pool now. Um, I think if, if, if I hadn't developed it and someone else has then I'd be buying one and I'd be putting it on my wrist and, and swimming it all the time.